Hello, thank you for joining in. TidyR 1.0.0 was released a few months back and with this release they have introduced some new functions as well as updated some old ones. The major change was retiring gather and spread and replacing it with pivot longer and pivot wider respectively. Although the older functions still exist but no active development would take place on them. It is better to switch to newer functions now. So first let's see how we used to use gather and spread previously and how we can use them now. So how they have changed, what are the different arguments which they take and the syntax. So let's take a white data frame. This looks like this where we have got code country and the years so all the years are in wide format now if we want to convert it into long format previously with gather we used to do like this where the first argument is the data frame name and here we include the columns which we want to convert it into long format using by using this minus sign we are excluding code and country columns now the same operation can be done with pivot longer using this code as you can see here the argument is the same first is the data frame name and calls contains the columns that we want to convert into long format now let's see the same to convert long data frame into wide so this is the long data frame. Now if you want to convert this to wide one, we used to use spread like this. But now with pivot wider, we have called arguments names from and values from, which makes it like this. Let's see one difference between the new functions and the old ones. Now we'll take the same data frame which we took previously, but I have done one change here in this wide data frame is Previously we had all the character columns, but here we have one integer column. So if we use gather, it works same as the previous value. This integer column get converted into character columns. As we can see here, the value column becomes character and these integer values are converted into character values. Now if we use the same code for pivot longer, it gives us errors stating that there is no common type between 1950 this color and 1954 integer. The types are different, hence they cannot be converted into the same column. As we can see pivot longer is stricter and expects you to coerce the column explicitly rather than how it was doing previously with gather. Also. It gives you an error message and make sure that you think once before mixing the data types of columns. Now let's take another example which is the inbuilt dataset billboard which has got 317 rows and 79 columns where we have got week 1, week 2 till week 76. These are all columns. Now we want to convert this data into long format all the week data into one column so using pivot longer we can do this the first argument is the data frame name now calls which means what are the columns that we want in long format so it accepts all the tidy select variables which is here starts with wk means all these columns which starts with wk it takes all of them and names to names of these column which will be present in long format and values to is the name of the column which will have values values drop na equal to true removes the na values from the data frame so if you check there are a lot of na values here so while converting it into long format it removes all these values from this data this was previously done with na.rm parameter in gather Let's take another white data. As we can see here, we have got company industry column. Now we want sales 
an ABTDA data into long format but in different columns. In pivot longer, they have got a special parameter which is called as value. It means when you use this parameter, it means you can get data from the column names in separate columns. So for example, we want here year value to be in separate column. So we use it here, gives give name set argument as dot. Here we are escaping the dot since it's it accepts a regex argument. So dot which is present here between sales and 2006. If we use this, as we can see, we get year values this 2000, 2016, 2017, all these values, this 2015, 2016, 2017, all these year values in one column, the sales values in one column and the EBITDA values in another column. This was not possible previously with gather. Let's take one more example. So now with this new pivot longer and wider arguments, you can cast multiple columns into wide or long format. So for example here, we want to cast mean and max price in wide format by type column. So in this case, we can specify names from argument as type and values from argument as mean price and max price. So we have given two arguments which will be converted into wide format. As we can see, it adds suffix from the type column mean price x mean price y accordingly and gives values from both of these columns which was not again possible in spread in previous versions there are many more examples which i will add in the description of this video mostly it's about practicing and understanding what various arguments mean so you can go through these examples and try to use them regularly so you can completely harness the power of this powerful functions pivot wider and pivot longer. I hope this video was useful to you and you learned something new from this. If you have any feedback about this, please let me know in comment section. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.